think about it, if the social and emotional piece is in place, everything else is going to fall into place. It's the foundation. It helps our students to learn how to communicate with each other effectively. The pandemic hurt a lot of students once we came back into the school building. That was what we focused on a lot because it, it was a necessity. Absolutely a necessity. And our students are understanding the importance of learning how to be able to give back to the community. This week we are donating items to a local shelter here in Montgomery, Friendship Mission. We talked to the students about what we were going to do. They got excited, came um, over the weekend, went to stores. Come Monday morning when we hit the carpool line, our students was rushing in the building with their items to give back. Lobster, look what I got. And I was like, okay, what do you got? He's like, well, we had enough items at home. And my mom said it was okay that we can give it to someone because we're gonna be a blessing to someone else. Our students here at Halcyon know how important it is to give back to the community because it's a blessing. And once you're blessing someone, it's going to automatically come back to you. And that's what we teach at our school here. One of the things we do in, my, in the counseling program here, we do a small group discussion. So students won't feel like they're identified or maybe embarrassed to ask a question. We may write down questions on cards. We'll put it in a box. And when I pull out the card, I'll read out what it says on the card, but I don't say who the card came from. So all the kids are given input on how they would handle that situation. And that allows the students to start communicating with each other. Not only are they talking to me, but they're talking to the other classmate or whoever's in our small group. It gives them an opportunity to show, hey, I'm your age, but this is what I would do. So it gives them a variation of um, opinions or advice. Being able to be with my babies. It's a community here and it's so warming when they walk in, in the building in the morning, they're saying, good morning, are you gonna play the good morning song? And Cause we do our morning announcements via Zoom every morning and I have the good morning song on there. We talk about the character word for the week and they just get really excited. But my most rewarding part of being here is the students telling me what they learned from a lesson or I'm able to see them actually doing what we discussed in that lesson. So they're listening and that to me makes my heart smile because now I know that I'm laying a foundation and this is something that they could take with them to middle school, to high school. And I feel like elementary with counseling is very important because these are life skills that our students need to take with them forever. And I express that every morning when we do character education on the morning announcements. This is my home. This is where I'm going to be at. Counseling, it must be in schools. This is where they get the support. As long as I'm here at Halcyon, I'm going to give that support. If they want to hug, I'm going to give them a hug. If they want to talk, I'm going to sit on the floor and talk to them. I feel like they need that. The more they learn how to communicate, the better they will be out in the world. And that, that's, that's my goal, to have all my students here at Halcyon be productive citizens in our world.